Hey there everyone, how's it going? Kurt Singh here with a Master League battle video. I'm running Tapu Bulu on the lead with Bullet Seed, Nature's Madness, Grass Knot, and then Necrozma with Shadow Claw, Sun Steel Strike, and Dark Pulse. And then of course, Ho Ho with Incinerate, Sacred Fire, and Brave Bird. So we'll get right into this battle. It's already over. Uh, safe swap into Ho Ho and they just conceded the map match. So we'll jump into this next one here. Kind of a bit tricky. You've got Togekiss against Tapu Bulu and I don't really want to switch out. Um, but their charms do more damage obviously than the Bullet Seed. So I'm going to go for Nature's Madness here. I do get a shield so that's positive. It drops their, their defense. And at this point here, they kind of surprised me and they switched out as I threw. So this should be able to um, drop the defense of the Necrozma as well. And then I'm able to switch into my Ho-Ho. And so that's just tearing through Necrozma. They get to a move here. And I want to let it go. I believe it's just going to be a Dark Pulse. And if it was Iron Head, it would be not effective either. Um, Sun Steel Strike would still probably do some damage. But again, it's Steel against Fire and Flying. So not, not super, super bad. Uh, go for uh, Sacred Fire there against Garchomp. They let that go through. So here I'm going to go for Brave Bird. Not really any reason not to. Uh, I feel like they're probably going to no shield again, and they do, so that takes out their guard jump. Now they're down to one shield. I'm in a really good spot here. Uh, um, I think I just let this go because Negrozma actually has a decent matchup as well. So let that go. I think I come in Tapu, and no, I go Necrozma. Okay, so my concern, my main concern is that they could have um, flamethrower, so I do need to respect that. But I do have two shields to their one. They bait me with ancient power. I'm at two dark pulses here, so I feel like they're gonna for sure shield the first one because why would they not shield that? Uh, they do. Get to the next another move here, and this is going to do a, not a lot of damage. It's going to be resisted, but it'll take them almost out. And then I'm not sure why I switched here. I think I felt like they were going to throw right away. Um, unfortunately, that gives them a move, but I do have the shield, and I'm able to sneak that claw through. So that'll take them out after it, after the shield. For some reason, they went Ancient Power again. Uh, Tapu into Necrozma. Again, slightly awkward matchup. I do all right here with uh, Tapu. The Nature's Madness is super effective against the Ghost typing. Um, but I believe they have Iron Head. And... Uh, their moon burst or whatever it is. So I get the defense drop there. Yeah, so here I wasn't expecting the iron head. So well played by them. And now it's still kind of a little bit healthy to be able to farm down. Uh, especially if I don't want to use a shield. But I think I go for the shield here thinking it might be the moon moon gist burst or bust, uh, which it was. So that works out there. Give up a shield, farm down. But now this is really awkward because you've got, um, what is that thing? Rhyhorn? Rhyperior? Yeah, Rhyperior. Um, it's not really doing that much damage to Necrozma if it's doing rock throw. But it still have it still has access to earthquake, I believe. Um, so yeah, kind of an awkward matchup here. They go for a surf, and I know shield. 
brick closet in the back. Um, what do I want to do here? I think I know shield this as well. Breaking, it should be a breaking swipe. Oh, good. I'm getting pretty low on health here though. I do get to a second dark pulse. So now I, but I mean, they have two shields still, right? So I'm going to shield this or I guess they let that go. Uh, I have to shield this or I get taken out. So now I'm down, no shields, and they have two shields. I've almost got two moves, but the thing is, is even, like, if I get both shields, they're still going to win, right? So good game to my opponent there. For some weird reason, they let that go. I think they wanted to come in and finish me off with Rhyperior. So I'm going to get to yet another move, basically just forcing them to shield this. Shield and down I go. So well, pay well played by my opponent there. Jump right into the next one here. Tapu against Dialga. Again, slightly tricky with the steel typing and then iron head. Um, as steel is super effective against fairy. But going for the nature's madness here, uh, not really super effective because of the steel typing, but it's super effective against the dragon. So, uh, does a decent amount of damage anyways. Shield up the iron head here. I think I would have just lived that based on that last, last battle that I got hit with an iron head. Go for the nature's madness here. Gets a shield. So I'm gonna switch in Necrozma. I, I was concerned about switching in Ho-Ho and then having Pelka in the back or something like that, right? So Necrozma comes in and they bring in their Necrozma as well. Go for the Dark Falls, get their last shield. And here, I feel like I want to shield this. No, I decided to let it go. I decided I'm going to save the shield. Um... Have I seen all their Pokemon now? They're still too healthy though, right? Because it, that particular one is Psychic Ghost, so it's not taking the super effective that mine does off of the Incinerates with the Steel type. So do shield that big move, farm down, and then they've got a Rayquaza in the back. I feel like I should have just gone Brave Bird and Dipped. Uh, Sacred Fire does do about half health. They switch into their Dialga and throw an Iron Head, I believe. And at this point, I was like, okay, this is winnable. I'm not sure why they switched in and then threw Iron Head. And they must have decided, same thing, that it was uh, over at that point for them. So here you've got, again, a bit of a tricky one. Nature's Madness is going to do neutral, Moon Blast is going to do neutral, but Moon Blast hits harder. So, zero shields, they're going to win. At some point, I either need to shield or leave. Uh, they let the first one go through, I get the defense drop. So I'm going to switch into my Necrozma. And of course, I've got a Landris in the back. Good to bait it out. A little bit tricky here, though, because... The Sandseer Storm uh, does a lot of damage and it debuffs me. So it makes it kind of hard to uh, win this matchup. I can do my best to try to take out the Landorus. You get to Dark Pulses so fast, probably leave this one. Um, bank that I'll just live this and be able to get off this Dark Pulse. Actually, I go for the Sunseer Storm. Ah, oh, yeah, I remember this. I'm like, I'm double debuffed. They're not gonna shield this. And they shield it. I was like, why would you do that? I'm double debuffed. But good on their part. Zero shields now. Uh, Tapu Bulu comes back in. And let's see here. They're going to throw, I think it's going to be a Stone Edge at 
does a decent amount of damage. Get to Grass Knot. This should take out, I think. I wonder if I would have won this game uh, had I shielded that Stone Edge. Take them out. Let's see here. Fairy comes back in. I switch into Ho Ho. I have no shields if I had shielded that uh, that one. It would affect a lot though. Yeah, see, so yeah, I probably would have won. Because I over farmed there. I did not need to farm that much. I still could have thrown the Brave Bird and then got taken out. And then Nature's Madness them down. Or not Nature's Mad, like it would bullet seed them down, or I could throw a Nature's Madness. Brave Bird doesn't quite KO, and I can't switch. One more does KO if they let it go. Uh, they do let that go, so now they're down just so they're a Xerneas, but they're getting all kinds of farm off of me, and I can't throw. And Tapu comes in, and of course they can throw, so that's a good game. Well played to my opponent. So it was just kind of a fun video. Uh, all of these Pokemon you've seen already in my videos kind of a little bit hard to do a lot of different Master League Pokemon, but uh, definitely am making an effort to keep the videos coming. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this one and let me know in the comments how your season's going. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of stalling. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.